Hello. My name is Matt, and I make indie music. A lot of times, I can't find the right sound I'm looking for. And I've been producing indie music and playing indie music for a while, and there's not a whole lot of useful resources on YouTube. It's mostly for EDM or hip-hop. So today, I am going to show you some useful tips and tricks for making indie music. So today... I am going to present to you one of my favorite little synths. It's the Casio SK-1. This, basically it has a, like nine really bad sounding sounds and a really lo-fi sampler on it. And so today I'm just gonna show you the sounds that it has, some of the sounds I've used in my own songs and how you can make cool sounds on it. So let's get started. I got a little Prophet 5 thing on it. You see, isn't that so cute? So now I'm just going to show you basically how the synth functions, because it's actually a lot more programmable than you would think. First off, it has Portamento on it, which is pretty um, unique, seeing that a lot of like really nice 80 synths don't even have Portamento. So that's a cool feature that it has in there. Um, Portamento is just basically sliding from one note to another. It's also the name of a drums album. He named it after that function. Super cool. It has vibrato on it. Let's see. Really cool, it gives it like the beach house feel. I like it. I like it a lot. Got a piano on there. And it actually sounds really bad, but if you throw some reverb on it, or maybe some delay, it can sound really cool. I actually used it on my last album. Um, my artist name is Leopard Tuesday, and if you look up my song Every Piece, at the end you can hear a really weird piano just making weird notes. <laughs> And it's using the piano sound on here, and then I have my Tiesco delay pedal modulating it, so it's it's going crazy. I love how it sounds on that song. I've got the crappy sounds first, so that's the piano, the trumpet. Reminds me of playing RuneScape. Human voice. And there's also an envelope select button on there that you can use. So you hit envelope select. And there, all of these are different wave shapes or envelope shapes you can select for the envelope. So if I like choose this one, it will have that reverb on it. Let me try it with the flute. Whereas if I choose this one, it'll sound much different. So that's a great feature, really useful to have. Um, so yeah, let's see. The pipe organ. Brass Ensemble. Now this one's my favorite, and we might just compare it to my Juno 106 I have over here. Um, but sue me if you want. I think it sounds really good as a Juno sound. Um, let me just play it for you. Yeah, 
Yeah, I really just love that sound. I could probably remake every song I've ever made just using that brass ensemble sound. Flute. This one sounds like Nintendo 64 Legend of Zelda stuff. Knew I wasn't going to get it right. Um, synth drums. I can feel it coming in the air tonight. Jazz organ. Gotta get the vibrato for the jazz organ. Um, so yeah, those are all of the built-in sounds, but those aren't even why I love the SK-1. They're great, but right here is the sample function, and this allows you to put like a one-second sample into it, and then you can change the envelope shape. It sounds so lo-fi that it is unbelievable. So let me just um, show you how it works with my voice. So it has a microphone input, so you can send like a synth into it and sample the synth directly or a phone sample, but it also has a microphone over here that you can use. So I'm just going to do a quick voice sample. And let's put a different envelope on. Still the vibrato on. so nice so that's what a voice would sound like it kind of sounds like a mellotron i think um really cool now let's try and load a sample from a synth into it and see how it sounds okay so now we have my gen sx 1000 and this is a, an italian mono synth from 1980 um it's kind of uncommon my favorite album which is wondrous bug house by youth lagoon was made primarily using this synth, so I had to get it. It just has this really nice, wobbly sound to it that I love. It sounds so third-dimensional, I don't know. I could probably easily recreate it on my other synth, but I don't know, there's something special about it. Anyways, what we're gonna do is we're gonna sample this note in to the SK-1, maybe a little bit LFO on the filter. And um, we're going to make a lo-fi pad on it. So let's go ahead and do that. All right. So now I have that sample loaded into the SK-1. And let's hear it. So you see how it cuts out? That's when you just put on this loop set function. Envelope select. Put on the vibrato.
Well, thanks so much for watching. My name is Matt Mink. Um, subscribe if you want to, and then comment below what videos you want to see me do next. Have a good day.